Hey, welcome to my channel. For a very long time, I've been hearing this and continue to hear it. Why is it that the poor continue to be poor and poor year after year while the rich get richer and richer year after year? And instead of learning from the rich or finding out what they do different, they're always blaming the rich. Always. And what they also have different is that they're financially literate and financially educated. But it's, there's also something else that I will tell you in a minute. This financial book right here, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, by Mr. Robert Kiyosaki, contains that information on why the poor and middle class are always in the same financial situation while the rich get richer and richer. It explains it in details and also in financial graphs on how to measure income and become wealthy as well. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. I'll show you that in a little bit. But first, There are two words that you need to know, financially speaking. Assets and liabilities. And what is the difference between both? An asset, it's a property that puts money in your pocket. A liability, it's a property that takes money out of your pocket. For instance, an asset, it's like real estate. When you have a, um, like a house to rent and the renters or tenants, uh, pay you money uh, to live in your property, that's putting money into your pocket. Stocks and dividend stocks, it's another one. Because it puts money in your pocket. Now, stocks are not only stocks. When you buy or we buy a stock, we're buying a piece of the corporation, of the business. When we own or buy a lot of stocks, like from different companies, What we're doing is buying a, you know, a piece of a company. But since we're buying a lot, we own a bigger piece of the business or corporation. Another asset is a business or bonds. Those are all assets. 
a liability is, for instance, credit cards. When you, um, for instance, owe a lot of money or owe money in credit cards and you're paying the credit card bank back up, that's taking money out of your pockets because you have to make the payments. So if you don't owe anything in credit cards, now everything's okay. It's no longer a liability. But when you owe money, it is a liability. Another one is, for instance, when you buy a car and you're making payments, those payments are taking money out of your pocket. But once you finish paying your car, it's no longer a liability. A mortgage, you know, um, your house mortgage, it's also a liability because you're paying money to the, to the bank. Now, I'm not saying not to have your house because, of course, you, you need your house to live in. Everybody that has a, um, a mortgage has to pay it because we all need a house to live in. But what I'm saying is that it is a liability because it's taking money out of your pockets. Now, when you finish paying off your mortgage, now the house belongs to you and it's no longer a liability. But it will turn into an asset. For instance, if you move out of your house and go live in another house that you have paid off, but the one you lived in, you put it out for rent and your tenants or renters pay you rent to live in your property. That is putting money into your pocket. Okay, so at first it was a liability, but since now it's paid off and you have it up for rent, now it is an asset. And that's what you need to know. Assets and liabilities. Have a little bit of ass, I mean, of liabilities, but a lot of assets. Now, going back, as I said earlier into the book, I'm going to show you what you need to know. First is financial literacy on chapter 55. This chapter, you have to read it all because it will give you the knowledge as to why you need the financial literacy and why you need to be financially educated. The next one is why the rich get richer and that is on page 76. You see the financial Graph. This is the income, and these are the 
as actually the asset box as you can see the circle right there with the uh, lines and arrows that's what the rich do they make the money and then they buy assets as you can see the asset box has an arrow up that means they have to fill the whole box as to the liabilities there's nothing very little so this box right here the asset box no matter how rich they are they will always buy assets always to make them more money and their fortunes continue to grow the next one is why the middle class struggle it has the income the asset box is small the liabilities even though it doesn't have um, any name of any properties but it has the arrow upwards in a big box it means it's filled up with liabilities and that's no good it has to have a little bit of liabilities but this box is small what they need to do is fill it up with assets but this is why they have um they're always struggling also because they have more liabilities and no assets okay <clears throat> now i'm going to show you how the rich play the game and that's on page 98 as you can see it has the income and the assets income and assets they don't have anything over here in the liabilities But they have a, a line and the arrow right on the assets and in the income. And this is the expenses. Okay? That's what they do to get richer. Now, I'm going to go to assets on page 64 to show you. And here's the financial graph. As you can see, the assets and what are the name of the properties and there's no liabilities as you can see and then there's the expenses which is an empty box and the income and it shows you the name of the income and then it gives you another graph right on the top ok 
okay? And the acids. Now I'm gonna show you the liabilities. And that's on page 63. As you can see, the different in what it has written, like right here on the bottom, and you see this financial graph also on the top. What it's indicating. And this is why the rich get richer and the poor and middle class are always struggling. Now, this is valuable information right here that this book has. It's a great financial book. I never seen any book out there like this one. This is a great book to own so we can get the knowledge that we need uh, financially. Now, do we need a lot of money to start, you know, uh, investing in assets? No. We can all we all start small and then um, it starts going uh, bigger. You can start with little money and you know during the time and as years pass you'll see the results. The thing is, get started. Even if it's little. You know, starting from the bottom with little money, you can start investing. It's better to start now and to start producing cash or income, then not starting at all. So now that you know, take action and start. If you want to buy the book, it will be a great investment and that's because it has valuable uh, information and also it um it's a great financial book that will give us the knowledge that we all need this book is for everybody for kids for adults for anybody so it's a great book. And this um, book is what it's all about. On how to become wealthy. So now that you know, get started. If you saw value and like video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.